So in this tutorial video, we're going to have a look at how you can add your SMTP info inside of Platformly. So inside this demo account, uh, where you would go inside your account is from the drop down under Setup tab, and then that'll load this section here, and then you'll click on Sending Mailers, all right? So Setup, then Sending Mailers, and we'll click Add New Email Service. Now you're gonna get this pop down here where you can choose, so first we're gonna give it a name. So in this case, we're just gonna call it Mailgun test account. You'll give it whatever name you want, and we're going to choose our provider here. So we say we're going to use Mailgun in this example. And yeah, you can use any provider. If it's not in the list, you see from the drop down, you can go custom. But we're just going to go Mailgun because that helps us kind of like with some of the default stuff. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Mailgun. Now you can sign up for Mailgun. You can send. Uh, up to 10,000 emails a month free, and then it's cheap sending after that. I'm only using Mailgun as, as an example. Um, as I said, you can use any one that you prefer, so I, I didn't pick this for any specific reason. But inside the account, you'd then add a custom domain, so you'd add your sending domain, and you'd verify it, and once you've done that, um, down here under API keys, you'll see here where it says SMTP credentials are available for each of your domains. So in here, you'd have your domains listed, like when you're sending domain, uh, in this case, I, I haven't added one, and so we're just going to use the default one. Now, from here, what you do is you just click on the domain name, okay, and it's going to load this information here. You can also reach it from under domains. Once again, this is inside Mailgun, but all the services are kind of similar. You're looking for the SMTP credentials, okay? So hostname, that's already set for us. So what you need is you see the default SMTP login. So we're going to copy this. Just make sure that you copy it exactly as it is, okay? So where it says username, we're going to paste that. And then under password, so we're going to come back here. And you see, so here's password. So we're going to grab this. Once again, make sure there's no spaces or anything like that. You're just going to copy it and come back here. I'm going to paste it in. Select it as TLS. Okay, port 25. It actually doesn't uh, specify a port for us. All of this is fine. Now, we know that we can send 10,000 emails per month on this service, although Mailgun in particular, some services will give you like no daily limit. Here, there's a daily limit, but we're just gonna say, okay. So just to make sure we definitely don't go over it. Okay, and so then we've put in the information. Obviously, this is just test information because the way Mailgun works in particular is you have to add in your own domain name. Um, so let's see, so when I go save service or test service, It'll give us a, an error okay, at the top. And basically that error said that you need to have your own domain name. But as we see here, it says we recommend using a subdomain. So mg.mydomain.com. So it, whatever domain you've got, you can just set up like mail.mydomain.com. Or yeah, so I'd call it mail or email or something like that, right? And then you just put it in here. Okay, so there we go. So we just put in a test one. Obviously you have to use your real one because in this next step you've got to you see, it, it shows you exactly. So wherever you're hosting, um, either hosting or um, registrar, it shows you exactly how to do it, and it gives you the exact records that you're going to enter. Okay. If you need any help with that, you can contact them, and they'll they'll give you more. But basically, everything is is pretty well outlined here. And then after it's it's verified, you'll click get start sending once you fill out these these things, and then you'll come back in here you'll fill out your username and your password for that specific provider, test the service, save the service, and then you're good to go. Okay, so because in Mailgun you needed to set up a domain in order to save it, which is very important, you want to send from your own domain if you're using SMTPs, and you want to add all the, you, you want to follow up their setup instructions correctly. But I, I added in my Mailjet one, which, which I happen to have. Um, and so then you go, once you've added it, that's only part of the steps, right? The next step is to go to sender profiles and choose which ones you want to send it from. So I've got just two demo ones. So let's say that I want to send from here as well. Uh, I'll click on edit. And then you're going to scroll down here. So as you can see, by default, it's using the Platformly one. So you can choose multiple profiles. So from here, I want to use Mailgun as well. Or if I only want to use Mailgun, I can delete the Platformly one and only use just, just leave the mail gun one, okay? If I want to use multiples, I can. And so in this case, let's say I just want to use this one. I remove that. Once this is here, I click Save Changes. It's then going to check the domain and everything like that to make sure that it's, it's all good. And 
that there's, it's not only blacklists or anything like that. So this can take uh, probably up to 20, 30 seconds. Okay, and it's checked it and everything's all good. So we confirm and save. All right, so now this one is using our mail gun that we just added. In this case, it was Mailjet, but you get the idea, our SMTP. So then whenever we st uh, set up emails to send, etc., and we set it to use this sending ID, it's going to send out through our SMTP. So that's how you're going to go about configuring it. First, you add the sending mailer. Once you've done that, you come to sending profiles and you add it inside there.